We've had the opportunity to try out this, this amazing DNA sequencer. It's, it's the size of a muesli bar. It can fit in your back pocket and give you results in, in sort of 10 to 15 minutes. It works by exploiting the electrical properties of DNA. Uh, you know that DNA is a small, thin thing, and we can thread it through holes in the DNA sequencer. As the DNA moves through the holes, there are subtle changes in the DNA which are detected by the sequencer and then those changes are converted into signals that are converted on the computer into a sequence. When we use this sequencer we can put on samples and get basically a whole genome's worth of content in about six hours. Now there are, uh, there are issues associated with that, errors and other things, which mean that we need to run it for about 48 hours before we can get a very accurate, precise idea of the genome. The first human genome um, took more than, say, 15, 20 years uh, because they had to do a whole lot of uh, taking DNA, putting into colonies, splitting it out. Uh, so much work to get a single genome and now we can just chuck it on the sequencer and get results in a couple of days. If we just take an idea of the, the speed that you get sequences out, I'm able to take a sample of DNA, put it on the sequencer get results out maybe an hour later, analyse those results and have graphs that I can show the, the researchers within, within a day, um, which is amazing. Ordinarily with other sequencing technologies we would have to send it off, uh, we might be waiting a couple of weeks up to a couple of months to get results and by that time the world's changed.